With no place to call home, houses reduced to rubble, little food, and dead bodies piling up on the streets and in smashed homes, life in Port-au-Prince is becoming so unbearable, many are just getting out. A lot of my friends have friends and family there, and uh, my heart just goes out to them, man. It's, it's, it's unreal. How it felt as you stood there Through the winds that would just not go away Welcome to a special edition of Lift Every Voice. I'm your host, Corey Condry. Today, you're going to meet two mighty men of God who understand tragedies. Of course, we all heard about the tragedy in Haiti. Over 150,000 people have passed away. Hip-hop artists like Wyclef have been to his homeland several times in helping out. How can you help out? How can you be part? At the end of this show, you will have all the details. At this moment, it is time to lift every voice. Closing doors. Ascension achieved. Kirk Franklin is a mighty force in gospel and secular music. Kirk has always written songs that speak to social plights. But with the horrific tragedy in Haiti, Kirk heard a voice from God that put a song in his heart. Kirk Franklin used this contemporary clout together with his Christian concern to bring some of the greatest voices in gospel to ask, are you listening? Welcome to Lift Every Voice. I'm your host. This right here is a special edition of Lift Every Voice. Kirk Franklin, how you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? You're going to the Stella Awards. Mm -hmm. You cut the news on and you're watching television and all of a sudden you see all the things going on. Yes, What's going through your mind at that moment? You feel anger, you feel, uh, you, you feel confusion. As a Christian, you also try to uh, just uh, internally go through the, the, uh, the preparation that you know you're gonna need to be able to give uh, an intelligent answer mm -hmm. when you ask, uh, you know, why does God allow these bad things to happen? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't make Christians wrong to ask that when you um, when you hear about, you know, over 100,000 people dead and over um, 5,000 Americans missing mm -hmm. more than even September 11th, then you hear about all of these children that are dying and, and uh, have disease and that are hungry. When everything happened with Haiti, it just really dropped in my heart that, you know, we need to do this song. And the first artist I called was C.C. Winans. Mm -hmm. And I told about the idea and before I could even finish. And there was a little keyboard in the room and I, and I, and I just played her the song. She said she was down. Right. 48 hours later, we had every Right. Every gospel artist show up, and it was phenomenal. It was very humbling to see people come and give their talents. It was beautiful because you had Marvin sap in the booth while Donnie was watching, going, go ahead, Marvin, kill it. <laughs> I mean, it was beautiful. Wow. It was beautiful. And so that's why it's a joint effort, man. It's like no, no one individual can take credit for this, man. This was a God effort. We were all servants mm -hmm. that showed up, and we made ourselves available. And this is the first time in gospel history that the whole gospel community has come together like this. Yes. And to be part of a song. It's kind of like the We Are The World yeah, song. Yes. How did you come up with the title, Are You Listening? The original title for the song several years ago was called A Song For Pain. Some of the other people uh, just kind of thought that maybe that, that title was a little too heavy. Right. right. And so, you know, there's a line in the song that says, you know, is, is, is there anybody out there listening? Mm -hmm. And so we just titled it, Are You Listening? A Love Song For Haiti. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the ending part of the song, it goes, you got the whole world mm. in your hands. Mm. And we're talking about the Lord and Savior, of course, yeah, yeah, Jesus yeah, yeah, Christ. Yeah, 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 no doubt. I want to come right back. And to that person that's sitting back saying, well, if he has the whole world in his hand, why did this happen? It's a good question. Why did this happen? Maybe you're asking yourself that right now. And in a second coming up, it's going to be Bishop Paul Morton. And you heard about what happened in uh, Katrina in New Orleans. And he's going to answer that too, why that happened. Coming right back, up close and personal, Kirk Franklin on Lift Every Voice, a special. If God loves us so much, why did this happen and why did he let that happen? Here is the intelligent theological answer. I don't know. I heard God's voice, I obeyed, and God blesses your obedience. We are called to be people of faith and people of action. So remember the people in Haiti and donate from your heart. Go right now to www.care.com dot org or give them a call at 1-800-521-2273.
work on earth is done You're the one that can steal Lift every voice Stay tuned